Yo, what's up, crypto community? Je m'en Mr. Solution. So, a couple of days back, we did an analysis on BTC to look at what the market has to say. We looked at what the market had to say as a then. And then look, this is actually still the result of the analysis we did. And then this morning, uh, this afternoon, actually, because for my time check, it's six minutes after 12. Okay. So I'm going to do a, just a quick rundown on what we should be expecting. All right. Remember in the last analysis I did, I told you guys that I was not going to do anything until BTC tests this area. Until the BTC tests this zone. Unfortunately, we didn't get to that because after here, what happened next was a reversal. Okay. BTC is actually reversed and currently you see it you see it's been make, making a series of moves it's been going up and it's actually sitting at a local this is actually a local resistance so let me just draw the channel all right let me draw the channel to see to show us where the price is all right so assistance now this is where the price is at okay this is the zone where the price is all right so we're actually anticipating a breakout of the, from this zone we are anticipating a breakout from this zone and if eventually we should get that breakout the next thing that should happen is that would be expecting all right eventually we break through this this is actually a resistance so currently the price of btc is sitting at a resistance this is actually a local resistance so we're actually expecting a breakout from this place why why do i say that why do i say that the possibility is the chances of the breakout occurring is high look at it here okay if you've been seeing this series of tests check the number of times we got this test here remember this is actually a support this is a support this is a support okay check the number of times we got this test here we got it here couldn't break out it went down again see so we had one two three four five okay so we have it testing it five times and then each time we test it we see that the move the move downwards didn't go much we didn't have much move downwards after which you know there is actually a subsequent retest okay up on up onto this very this very point where we kind of came down you break through the support okay you break through the support and then we came down to this very place and what happened next we equally see this sharp reversal okay this series of green candlesticks one two th one two three four five so what it means is that for five straight hours because we are using actually we are using one hour time frame what it means is that for five straight hours we've been seeing the move going up okay now remember in one of my videos where i thought about candlesticks and all that compare the number of green candlesticks use it to compare the number of reds you will see that the number of greens are far higher okay we have more green candles than we have red so what this shows us is that the bull is actually in control if if on the flip side let's say we have more gr more red candles than we have the greens what it means that is that the red that's the bears are still in control but looking at the number of candles and the types of candles form so far we've seen that we have more green candles than we have the red candles okay so we see this um, bullish engulfing that formed here okay and all those wife price has actually been moving up so i'm actually hoping that we're gonna get we're gonna get the breakout from this current resistance currently the price is at a resistance zone and it's possible for us to consolidate a little but by and large we are getting a shootout and eventually we should get a shootout the next place we should be aiming at is 50 we should be looking at 52,035 dollars that's 52k okay so the next place we should be looking forward to is heading to 52k all right so i'm actually optimistic even though yes i didn't get the entry i wanted there because this was where i actually put my buy unfortunately I, at around that 40k i shared it i said it categorically that i wasn't gonna do anything i wasn't gonna buy i wasn't gonna or sell until i see what happens at this very zone but fortunately we didn't get to that remember one of the things i equally said that if if price should eventually get to this very zone that nothing stops it from testing here so i will i will, if i had shorted remember if i had shorted then i would have actually incurred a loss so what i did best was to sit and work watch things out it's actually monday some days have passed some hours have passed so uh, the market has actually given me okay I can actually do whatever I want to do now confidently because I've actually seen the direction that the market is tilting to. I'm, I'm anticipating a breakout. So if, let's say I decide to take a long entry, let's say I decide to take a buy, 
okay so where would i be taking the buy i would take my buy at a place where i know that the resistance has been well defeated okay so if i decide to take a buy now i'll be taking a I, my entry would be a buy stop okay i'll be using a buy stop to enter the trade and where will my entry be let me use the horizontal lines to indicate that okay so if i'm to take a buy if i'm to enter this trade now I'll be using a buy stop and where will i be entering i want to enter it at a place where i'm very certain that the resistance has well been defeated i'm very certain that we have cleared everything about resistance okay so if i'm taking an entry if i'm taking a buy here i would be look I'll be, if i'm taking a buy i'll be entering something around there okay because i really want to be very i want to be 100 percent certain that we've cleared this resistance so i should be taking a buy around there that's around 49k and if i'm entering at 49k where am i aiming at i'm i'm, I'm actually aiming at 52k okay so as it stands now you have no reason to dump remember i told us then that market is still bullish forget all these things happening so far market is 200 percent bullish not because of the little corrections and the little consolidations we got so some days but actually all through last week okay market has actually been going down and all that that's not reason enough for us to you know switch our bs to becoming to becoming 100 percent bearish no okay but then remember what i said don't be a perma, perma beer, don't be a perma bull, okay? Be fluid, be flexible, be water. A market can always do its thing at any point. Later. What matters is that you position yourself in such a way that whichever direction market is moving, whichever way it is moving, you will not miss out. Okay, so right now, if I'm taking a buy, if I want to enter this trade, I'll be using a buy stop around, I'll be placing a buy stop around 49k. And if I place a buy stop around 49k, I'll actually be aiming at taking my profit around 52k okay because that is actually the next resistance okay i might i might not put it at 52035 i could put it at let's say 15 51980 51950 okay because no you have to become a contrarian think differently don't follow the hurts don't do what everybody is doing because the ideal thing everybody would do now would be to put their take profit around 52,035. No, I want to put it at a place where even though, yes, I'll be leaving some some chips off the table, but it's better I secure my profit and the market reversing at any point in time. So if I'm to take a trade now, I'll be using a buy stop around 49K and then my target will be 52, 52,000 or maybe 51,980 okay but i won't put it at 52,035 even though yes market can still defeat it but i don't want to put it at exact area of value i've talked about this before i've expatiated it many times that uh, it's not always good for you to put your your target or your take profit in an area of value okay so if i'm targeting now i'll be aiming at 52k or maybe 51,980 dollars so this is actually a monday is the first day of march and it's a very good thing that we are waking up with a with a good news we're waking up with greens in the market and i just hope we all utilize it please if you've not subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button share the video to as many persons as possible and then if you are looking for a community of traders where you can join to share insights on cryptocurrency trading i invite you to my telegram signal group that's my telegram channel i'll be leaving the link at the description section of the video kindly like the video share it and then i will see you in the subsequent episode i remain your man mr salute